Excuse me. Sorry. Have you seen Daniel? Not since this morning. Can I have a cigarette? Thank you. Where's Daniel? Oh, he went out. To the shops. Very well. I'll proceed without him. Justin, it's Bridget. Is Daniel with you? No, it's fine. He must already be at the theatre. Okay. Is Daniel in there? No, I haven't seen him. He's not here. Where is he? I don't know. What do you mean? He didn't come home this evening. Curtain. Half an hour. Uh, can you tell Justin to prepare for Daniel's role? home last night. Have you found his friends? Nobody's heard from him. Was there an argument? Of course not. Bridget. Please, Isabel, I'd rather you didn't interfere. He has missed a performance. Have you spoken to the police? Yes. And? A person has to be missing for 72 hours before they can act.
Isabel. Mark. Thank you for coming. Why do you think he's in danger? Because I know him. He wouldn't leave without an explanation. Look, he might leave a lover like this, but he's not going to walk away from his work. It means too much to him. Not everyone's as driven as you. Find him for me. I'm a friend of Isabel's. I'm also a police officer. I'd like to speak with you about Daniel. Does that happen often? Oh, yeah, we're well known. We? Ah, uh, Daniel and I. Can I ask you a few questions? Uh -huh. Has he spoken to you about leaving the company? Sick of touring? Perhaps a bit homesick? No. How long have you been together? Um, about three years. Was there anything unusual in his behaviour when you saw him last? Something that strikes you as different? I can't think of anything. Sorry, but I have to ask. Were you having problems as a couple? Do you think there could be another woman involved? I don't know. I um, asked him to go out and buy me a packet of cigarettes and he went out and he didn't come back. If there's anything you remember or want to tell me, 